G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now today we're gonna to take a look at the feature and the functionality of being able to annotate PDFs that are stored in OneDrive or SharePoint when we open them up in the browser. So now what we will have is the ability to click on a little annotate button and then that will make available some tools that we can use inking uh, over our PDFs. Um, so quite often we tend to think of PDFs as these lockdown documents that we can't do much with. Now, annotating PDFs is something that uh, has been, um, you know, a, a feature that people have been wanting for quite some time. Now, what I have tended to do in the past and still do today is actually combine uh, PDFs with OneNote. So being able to print a PDF to OneNote and then use OneNote to annotate and take notes and do all that type of markup inside of OneNote is a great functionality as well. So if you haven't tried be, uh, printing documents and in particular PDFs to OneNote, then I suggest you just go and have a look at that as well because that's another little way uh, productivity uh, tip for you that allows you to really mark up your PDFs and then also bring other people in uh, to that space as well and uh, be able to uh, collaborate and mark up PDFs and documents in that way too. But in this video, we're gonna take a look at doing that in the browser uh, right on the PDF itself. So we can see here that I've logged in as Alex. I am in Alex's OneDrive here, and I've got two documents that we're going to take a look at in different scenarios. So this um, PDF here, I'm gonna open this up in the browser. So what we will see here is I've got a little tooltip now where I, uh, it points me to this little annotate button. Now this annotate button um, then pops out our toolbar or toolbox on the left-hand side pretty similar to what we see in a Microsoft whiteboard. So we can see that I've got a pen here, I can change the thickness, I can change the color, and then I can uh, annotate my PDF like so. I've got a highlighter here as well. Again, I can choose the color, and then I can highlight uh, certain parts of the PDF too. Now when I click on this annotate button again, those annotations disappear and we're back left with our original PDF like that. And when I click the annotate button again, these annotations come back with the document. Now what happens when we share this document? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to now share this document with, um, with Adele, all right? So you can see the new sharing dialog box here, a new simplified streamlined version of sharing and I'm going to send uh, Adele this document, all right? So I'll bring Adele's email over here. She will get a uh, notification in just a second, there it is, that Alex has shared this PDF with her. So I'm gonna open that document now. It's gonna open up in the browser and let's take a look and see if these annotations actually come with the, the document now that it's been shared. So we can see by default, they're not there. But when I click on annotate, we can see here that the annotations are kept with the document and are still visible to the person that this document has been shared with. Now, what about the other way? So what about now if, um, uh, if Adele now annotates this document as well. So let's do circle this in red. We'll change the color of a highlighter to blue and let's now just highlight some of this like, like that. We'll click the annotate button, disappears, annotate, they come back, all right? So now what we're gonna do is just drag this back across. Now what we'll do is we will close this document now and then we'll reopen this document and we'll see what happens. Again, we get this little tool tip, but you can see now that those annotations that Adele has made actually are on that document as well. So uh, annotating out of one person's OneDrive, sharing it with that person, and then annotating um, that as well, both ends uh, stays with the document. And the good thing is we can turn this annotation on or off as well. Now let's jump back into, let's close this off now. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna choose a different document. So before annotating, what I'm gonna do now is we can see that I haven't annotated anything right yet. Now, I'm gonna share this uh, document before I annotate. So let me just uh, select Adele. Let's now, actually, let's just go to view, all right? So we'll change this to view only, and then we'll send this uh, again to Adele, all right? So that has now been sent. 
Now, I am going to now bring Adele's back over. So again, here's the next document, the company policy template. Let's open this document now um, like this. And we can see that again, what we've got is Adele being able to annotate, all right? But I'm going to do that secondary. So now I'll back over to Alex. Let's annotate and we'll do something on this document. So let's just use the black pen, uh, black pen here. We'll circle this. Let's close this. Drag uh, Megan's back across. Let's close this, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the email. I'm gonna open this document back up and let's see what happens. So we can see in when I click on annotate, that is now there. Now what happens, I've set this as read only. So what happens now if Megan annotates this? So let's have a look and see what happens. So we can see I'm just highlighting some text here. I will close this out. I'll jump back to Alex and I'll refresh this and I'll open up back that document. So company policy template, we'll open it back up and let's have a look. So I'm gonna click on annotate, but we can see even though that it's view only, the annotations part still actually works, all right? So that annotation here has stayed with that document as well, all right? So the ability is now exists to be able to annotate your PDFs that are stored in your OneDrive and in SharePoint um, in the browser uh, when you're opening up those PDFs. So I hope that brings you some value today. Now, the other part that I did mention is being able to print the these documents or print PDFs to OneNote. So again, another way that you can do some annotation around those PDF documents. And the good thing about OneNote is that you can make your notes on the side, the PDF, uh, you can annotate over it, you can draw across the top of it, uh, and you can do lots, there's lots of other functionality that you can bring uh, to the table with that process as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.